Many thanks to the EA Creator Network for the code to the Lovestruck Expansion Pack. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my mini playthrough of the Lovestruck Expansion Pack. In this first part, I'm going to go over what my goals are for this short Let's Play and introduce the two Sims who are siblings. So as for the goals, first one is we're going to take a look at the world, see what's around. We're going to try and collect as many axolotls as we can, and we'll breed them to see if we can get extra ones with that. We're going to look at Cupid's Corner and the new types of dates. There are three new types. The two sims I have are, are siblings and they're single, so we may not get to that romantic repair date, but we'll try and look at the other two. We're going to explore the mystery of the ring and uh, the blue bear, which I believe is Sammy Bear. And we're going to see how much of the two new aspirations we can get done. And, of course, anything else that comes along the way. And hopefully we may even get that seven dates challenge. So let's meet our Sims. And also, I would really like if anyone would like to provide some single young adult Sims on the gallery. The hashtag for that, if you want to do that, is Maples. L asks for Lovestruck singles, which I'll put that hashtag up on the screen. And if you comment below that you've done so and share your gallery ID, it'll make it easier for me to find. Make sure I don't overlook any of them. That would be great. So let's actually now meet our Sim. So I already have this up for Cupid's Corner. So our first Sim is Kara. And you can see her details. I have her saying that she's interested in young adults or adults, even though I'm asking for young adults. And she's showing as she's a love bug and a bookworm, but she is also creative and she has a quick learner trait from choosing a knowledge aspiration. And both of the Sims are spellcasters. The aspiration they had originally chosen was a, um, this ma magic, the spellcraft. Is whatever it is, but the one that's the knowledge, <laughs> spellcraft and sorcery. I think that's what it might be. So we're going to just close that off and then we'll take a look at her brother, Jefferson Parker. And we are in the neighborhood with the park and it's kind of an overcast day, so it's a bit dim. <laughs> and I just actually had them on. I, I bought them chickens and stuff before, so they were on that particular aspiration. So Jefferson... We won't bother looking at the Cupid's Corner for him. We'll just take a look at his traits here. So he is romantically reserved. So the other thing I did was I gave them opposing, not that it matters, but so we could take a look at a little bit at those two new traits that come with the pack. Um, so he's romantically reserved. He is a genius. He's a rancher. And he also has that quick learner trait. Um, we can open this up just in case you're, you are interested. We'll open up Cupid's Corner. It'll take a minute for him to pull it up. And you can see how he is there. So he shows the romantically reserved and genius. And in his case, I just said young adults. And there are all the details with respect to Jefferson that are showed, are shared, I should say. So... Since money is not really going to be much of a goal, I'll probably use Trendy. I'll have them browse, buy a few things, and then mark them up significantly because I don't want to have to be worried about money with this. Um, obviously, in my rakes to riches, they'll do it a little bit differently, but I'm also not going to like give them the money either. So their house is essentially, I used a shell that I have used previously, but I've decorated it with uh, a new some things from the pack. There is no kitchen item, so this is actually from Cottage Living. But, uh, and then the, they, they're, normally I have a fireplace there, but I don't have a fireplace right now. But I have it set, because I usually like to have stone in the back when it's a fireplace. But since I don't have my mods in, I usually have a mod that stops them from lighting the fireplaces. I think spellcasters are particularly bad for doing that, so no fireplace for them. But, uh, so anyways, but the wall coverings in most of the cases, apart from this from Island Living, is from the new pack, and their couches are from there, but I still gave them a rocking chair. Um, yeah. And these little chairs here, they're like folding chairs, but they are actually with the pack. I didn't notice they have actual labels writing on it, and they have the game. The, uh, thumbs up and a woohoo. So that's a thing. And because we have a rancher, I have 
one of those. And their bathrooms, they are very basic. I tried not to spend too much money on the house, but I wanted them to have space to, like, you know, be able to do whatever we need to do in here. And the shower that comes with the pack is, like, a one that you can create your own shower. But I wanted a spot where you could have as a woohoo spot and you can't use that. These are the one of the beds. The heart bed is more expensive, so I didn't give that to them. And then this is like the flowers on the wall there, which I quite like. And then they have like the matching. So you can see that that matches with this, with the trim and everything like that. So you can have it as an accent wall, which I've also done here. So this is Jefferson's room. And this is... <laughs> twirled around a bit too much is Kara's room and I gave her since she's a love bug she has the trunk there I have not yet purchased a the woohoo blanket we'll have to get that but you can order that you can buy that without actually going to build mode this is actually the comes with a new pack this treadmill it costs the same as the other treadmills so I I did spend <laughs> buy it and I've been getting sometimes I get calls for you know stay over so I did actually normally I have this as one big skill room but you have to come through here to get in here but this is like their guest room in case we have anybody and then in there I gave the uh the early access bed <laughs> for our guests if we have any guests or anyone come over that's there and the upstairs is just basically is is completely empty there's nothing it's not even got walls <laughs> it's just got a couple of windows and that's it because uh, I didn't think that was necessary. And this this comes with it. With the... Uh, I, I kind of like that. It's kind of nice. And that's kind of it for their house. And, you know, sli slight conversion for being in this... With this pack with some of the things. And, you know, we may use this. I don't know. But some of that I probably won't show. Mainly our focus is going to be on looking at things that come with the pack. So once again, let me know if you create any potential love interests and I will put them in this save if you missed the cutoff the cutoff is actually Sunday evening but if you miss it for this I will still use them in my uh, later let's play that's going to be like the full regs to riches from my legacy regs to riches let's plays um, and if I put them in here and they don't end up being chosen by our sims then I will also put those in the other save too when I get around to getting into them but they're still young <laughs> they also need to grow up a little bit but anyways that's gonna be it for this intro thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye